Well everyone, Rich from A3 Sky Warrior. I think I'm going to make this my opening. Back down with Brian in the, in the Creek Gold. Of course, I got a rock problem. This looks like a piece of coral out there. Weird looking uh, quartz rock and some other things maybe to crush. I came down this way. We're going to do some crevicing today, but I came down this way, try to look for more of that. Uh, I hope I don't bust my butt here, but try to look for more of that huge geode that I found only a part of down that way last time. Maybe Sasquatch put that rock there. <laughs> Well, we're going to try some crevicing. We found a good spot. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to look for some geos real quick and that hopefully find that bigger chunk of that geo that broke apart. It's got to be the size of a basketball or something. It's got to be pretty big. But it's probably way up the stream here. I uh, haven't really found too much. That might be a something there. I'm gonna have to pick that up, see if it's lined up as the geode. But really nice day. Of course the clouds are just moving in. I think my rain man curse is um, waning a little bit. It's been really dry. But uh Got some good pickings here for some fossils. All right, get back and uh, look for a little bit of shiny. All right, y'all. Well, Brian already showed showed about. Guess since try to get some. We're on the go. Some video here. <laughs> So you've seen the same one probably after his, but yeah, that's uh, a nice chunker. There's some. I just found one almost identical, twenty feet away. And that is almost a picker. I can probably pick it up, but definitely a feeler. It was rolling around in there. <laughs> Not a lot of gold, but we're trophy hunting today. There's a. Some fine uh, flower gold in the bottom, but uh, I'm get so definitely on it. <laughs> I bet those buckets are really good. Well, when Brian is uh, getting the dogs, I'm going to go and probably run the vac for a couple of minutes. Well, I lied. I didn't run the vac. <laughs> No, uh, gold pan and suntan, probably would like to see that, but, uh, I just grabbed some of this material because, uh, I got that big chunker sucking it, sucking this crack from the bedrock here, and I hope I can one hand this, the big piece just fell down. But there's another, there's the second piece right there. Getting some chunky gold here. Maybe I can see if I can pause this and work it back. The dogs are coming, but uh, a nice little chunky piece again. Oh, that's the same one, but there's some flower gold in there too. But I think I'm going to keep on hand dredging this. Brian's starting to run the RPE. I'm going to have to do the same here. i got to run that bucket over here, but... <laughs> Don't want to stop because I keep on finding chunkers. Another nice little chunker. Let me see it. It's a little bit darker, but... But yeah, find some good gold in that crack there. 
but I guess I'm gonna start running uh, RPE and hopefully I got enough time to run the vac on some of these cracks. No. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple pieces up on the front here. I get seaweed and everything else in here. Alright. Getting some clouds rolling in. Don't look like rain though, no, but Yeah, I figured I better get this get this going. <laughs> you know, I wanted to keep on using the suction over there. I guess my <laughs> I guess my curse is wearing you off. Didn't rain. Again, not too much flow, but the RPs are pretty forgiving. Oh, I seen another. Yeah, look at that. A couple of nice ones in there. Ain't no light over under the bridge. We got a lot of chunkers out of there, so I'm thinking we did really good again. Oh, this was a nice day. Nice little breeze, not too hot. Water is nice. Not freezing. Oh, hopefully <laughs> I didn't bring that back, shop back without doing some crevicing. Maybe after I get done to this, and then, uh... You need water out here, water in here? Yes, please. <laughs> Let me run the vac over there, those, that dry spot over there by those little cracks. But keep on going here. Yeah, I wanted to run a little bit more. Beautiful end of summer. Just gorgeous out here. I'll start my old job back up Monday, so, or Tuesday, that is. So I was glad I was able to come out here and pushed out some, uh, should have been painting this weekend, but spent some time with Mrs. Warrior. Come down here, relax. Yeah, just so nice and soothing out here. Well, maybe we'll get to the vacuum. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, keep on shoveling. Now we just finished running the RPEs. There was nothing in the bottom, but already got some really nice, really nice gold showing up. Of course, I want to clean this up at home better. Come here and check this out, Rich. 
Oh, I can see them. Some nice little chunky pieces. There's, uh, oh, there's a lock washer. She's in the way. Oh, yeah. He's down there. I'm not. And so far, not bad. This is a nice piece right there. Yeah, I can't. It's kind of hard doing this one-handed. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to use the back a little bit. I'm going to take all this back to the house and clean it up. Nice pretty gold. All right, maybe I can vac some of these cracks up real quick. Yeah, I tried to back for a little bit. Brian just started working that and found a little chunker, so I went and grabbed some too. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice, yeah, it's floating away. Get down there. You just gotta get that right layer of chill a bit. Yep. Well, probably going to clean up here and I'll probably do another one. <laughs> Back the next day. This is just a, was in my snuffer bottle. Let me see if I can. Yep, I have it on magnification, so let me see if I can get out of it. Really nice chunky gold there that's just from what a half bucket sluicing with the RPE and panning and sucking with a little hand dredge <laughs> I still have uh, cleaning up those rocks got some big rocks uh, for the mill didn't really get too many um, fossils. Got some other rocks somewhere, but I have to run that through the RPE. Not run the RPE, um, uh, run it through the toolbox, that is. And see what else I missed from just panning. Oh, what an awesome trip we had. All right, I just 
cleaned up everything on the toolbox, all the rest of the cons. The cons from the, well, pretty much everything I vacuumed in the shop vac, I'm going to make a separate video on. I don't really have time today to get to it. Starting that new job tomorrow, but uh, didn't find any more chunkers, but uh, found a lot more flower gold. I'm going to take the rest of that and give it to Brian to go and uh, go through his blue bowl to get recover more of this flower gold. All right, get back to a cleanup. All right, let's see what. This is from the, like a half a bucket running in the RPE. Some panning, test panning. Yeah, not bad. Like I said, uh, you have to get go through when I got in the shop back. But some really chunky gold. Not bad, just for uh, not too much. Probably have to um, check all that out again, make sure I don't lose any. But uh, also, while I was at Brian's, I picked up my winning. So, after um, Mega Dog Bag and um, Kathleen Maples Wildcat Prospecting Bag, I get to these. Just a um, couple more little geodes and a little fossil. Still have all those other rocks to crush and or mill. That's his new stickers from Narcissus Banshee Mining in Home Zoo. Also, I got a sweet hex pan. I need to put to work. Not to season it yet. Yeah, go check out Brian Indiana Creek Gold. Think he's going to be um, giving out on these away. So uh, appreciate you guys come along for the journey, and and hopefully, well, actually, next one will be the cleanup for the um, for the shop back. But you all have a blessed week. I hope you all summer went great. Now into the fall. <laughs> So I don't know when I'll be able to get back to Brian's, but um, hopefully you do some dredging and look for more stuff. All right, y'all. Have a blessed week.